JFK fought a brilliant campaign to become the 35th and youngest ever President of the United States. His running mate knew his worrying medical history and had earlier tried to discredit him. But JFK's doctors swore he was fit and healthy and everyone believed them. In fact, he had Addison's disease, low thyroid levels and back problems so severe he wore a girdle and sometimes needed crutches. It's a wonder he was able to have so many affairs, although we don't know how enthusiastic he was able to be. He took a cocktail of medication including steroids, barbiturates, opiate painkillers and testosterone, each known to affect decision making. He was also known for his impulsivity at school, and some have suggested that this can be seen in his war record as well. All of which begs the question of whether his standoff with Khrushchev in the Cuban Missile Crisis was the act of a supremely self-confident leader, or just roid rage. <laughs>